Hi guys and welcome back to The Batch Lady where I show you how to make some fast, simple homemade food that you can make in advance, put in your freezer and use whenever you want it. And this is no exception. I am not in my kitchen today. Where are we, Brooke? We're in the Peebles Fish Shop. We are in the Peebles Fish Shop in Peebles in the Scottish Borders. Brooke is, um, Brooke owns this? Yes. Yes, and it's a family business and you've got another one. Where's your other one? We have another shop in Dunbar. In Dunbar. So anybody near there, um, go in and have a look. So if you can see this fresh fish counter, you set this up this morning. We do. All came in fresh. Morning, comes in fresh. And it looks fantastic. Okay, and we are going to show you a great fish recipe. And the one we're going to show you today is monkfish um, with some herb butter wrapped in parma ham and you make it into little parcels. We're making it into a clear cellophane parcel today, but actually we would usually just do it in some silver foil and it's great for a supper party, friends coming over. Yeah. It's, it's a nice, proper nice, I would serve it. It's a treat. You know, it's a treat. Yeah. A piece of monkfish is a nice treat um, and it's delicious. So, Brooke is going to be my glamorous assistant because doesn't she look like a glamorous assistant? You hate to see it, but I'm actually really shocked and I'm standing on a box. <laughs> I keep sort of falling off. So, Brooke, monkfish. Yeah, monkfish. Tell us about monkfish. What is it? Um, it's a nice, firm, meaty white fish. So it worked great in this recipe. Yeah. Putting it in parma ham. Excellent. Yeah, so it's good for freezing as well. And it's great yeah, for it's freezing. So fresh. It's so fresh. It's excellent for freezing. Perfect, so this is a nice fresh piece. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take two cuts down, Brooke, each side. And the reason you're cutting it down each side is you want to put your herb butter in. Now, this is just herb butter that I've bought. You can make it yourself if you want, but if you go into a supermarket, you can get all different types. And it can be any herbs that you want. Um, if you if you want to save some money, just get yourself a block of butter, get some frozen herbs like I use, mix it all together, roll it back up and put it in the freezer and then you can just cut the bits off that you want. I'm so um, the and you're just putting the butter in one side and then just on the other side as well. Okay. And then so, so if you can see that guys, we've just put the butter in the middle of the monkfish, okay? So what to do now Brooke is why don't you lay out your parma ham or actually, do you know what I do? Because I'm so cheaty. Look, I just lift it up. You, you, yeah. you get the parma ham. Brooke's got three slices of parma ham, and all you're doing is um, you can put some lemon juice over this as well if you want. You want to throw a bit of lemon juice on. You can put more lemon juice when it comes out. But this looks really cool. I mean, you serve this with some new potatoes and some nice vegetables. Put some asparagus on the side. So that's it, Brooke. What we're going to do is roll it over. Pull it tight. Brooke's very delicate and I'm not. And there we have it, okay? Now, you can put it right in the freezer like that. I would tend to also put some asparagus or some samphire. There's some lovely fresh samphire here that you can get and it's freezable as well and you can put it with it. Then you're going, it would be really yeah, nice with it, wouldn't it? Fish, yeah. And then when you cook it, all the juices just go into the samphire as well, and it's delicious. Right. A lot of people look out for samphire coming in fresh. If it comes in fresh, like Brooke's got a box there, buy it, throw it in your freezer, put it in a little bag, um, and then you've got it for all year round. I use it all the time. So this, you would want that, you'd make four of these, I would make four, but we're just using one today. Silver foil, wrap it round, then just put all four, in your freezer bag, make sure that you've sealed it and labelled it, and you have a meal. How long does this take to cook when we take it out? It'll be in a foil package. I would say maybe 20 minutes. 20 minutes to cook from size. fresh. You're probably taking, talking about 35 minutes to cook from frozen. Yep. So um, you can cook it straight from frozen. That's the great thing about fish, is it's healthy, yep. and it's perfect to cook from frozen as well, isn't Easy. it? Mm -hmm. But the reason I like to use it fresh and then put it in the freezer is I want it prepared. I want it in a batch lady meal so I don't have to think about it when it comes out the freezer. Um, this fish shop is amazing. I'm having the best week ever and it smells, it doesn't smell fishy. I don't like the smell of fish. It doesn't smell yeah. fishy. If fish is fresh, it shouldn't smell. Fish is fresh, it shouldn't yeah. smell. There you go, guys. So it and starts to go off, it starts to smell a bit. Does it? And it does not smell at all in here. It smells lovely. This is the end of my week. I just want to say, um, if you happen to be in here and you've bought some fish, take a picture of yourself batch cooking it, try one of our recipes and send it to me. I will then send your name into um, Brooke and if you're the first 10 people, you will win a Batch Lady bag.
Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Brooke, you have been delightful. Thank you for coming. Brooke is one of my best people. She always puts on little notes and subscribes to me. So thank you very much for having us. It's been brilliant. We will be back here. I'm going to make, make yep. you do some more. Nope. And Brooke's going to get back. chatting. She, she'll be the one doing it next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. This is Ross Dougal's Fish Shop with Brooke Dougal and the Batch Lady. Yay!